So that beep means we're running. Yeah, I uh, I figured that. Also, the red record word red came record. on the screen. Yeah, R R E C. Yeah. You, you are you're a Renaissance man of sorts. I graduated from the Ohio State University with what a is communications your degree. In? degree. Communications. Or communication. Some people don't put an S on it. I don't know. I don't really remember what it, the degree said. But Zeb, so we're just leaving Steelwood. We're running back. Okay. So, very, very fruitful visit to the Ohio RTC. Yep. Logan Steeper pops in. We get to talk to Tom Ryan for about 45 minutes. And then JD, of course, my man, he uh, told me about chiropractic and healthy, holistic living, mm -hmm. which is actually a pretty good message. I, I do like that. And, uh, I'm not really a doctor visit type of guy. If I do, it might be once a year. Yeah. I tried to avoid it. There was one time at point, one point I didn't go for three years, but I like the message. So I like hearing about how you're gonna win a uh, win a, a world medal. That's what I'm really excited about. And how uh, you know the haters are gonna hate, but uh, JD Brigham's gonna find a way to get on that podium. So I like coming to the Ohio RTC. I love going to Ann Arbor too. You know, and uh, I like kind of splitting time between the two. And there, uh, you guys got four of the seven world team members, JD. I think I'm, that's really impressive. Um, tonight, we're going to see Jack Mueller, is it? Yep, Jack Mueller. Jack Mueller, and uh, that's going to be a cool thing. Got to run into the Jordans. A lot of really cool things, JD. And his wife, uh, his wife, his, his mom, Shelly, will be there. I just found out um, that uh, his dad, Mike, is actually on business and he won't be there. But um, I'm really, really excited to go down there with Travell and surprise them. So Jack and the Mueller's mean a lot to uh, Travell and I, especially Keegan. So, um, but anyways, Seb, my biggest thing that I've noticed about you is, um, and with a lot of the Flow cast, Go Ohio cast, the passion that you have for the sport of wrestling is beautiful to see, really. Um, my question is, where does it come from? I mean, you coming from Oak Harbor and knowing you since since then, I mean, it's just really cool to see your interest level and your knowledge of the sport. So the passion, I think the where, passion. Yeah, where does the passion come I mean, from? And also, also your, how, where do you get all your knowledge from? I don't know, you got a good base from your uncle, George. George is pretty good, your uncle Joe. Those guys know their stuff. So like it started early with those guys, you know, and then my brothers obviously. So that would be like the base where, basis where it comes from. I think failure in the sport, that really drives you. Yeah. I know that you've had, um, it's kind of funny to say, but like you've had very little failure in the sport compared to other wrestlers. I mean, you didn't win the NCAA title, but you know, you're, you're, it still makes you hungry to win a world title and an Olympic title. So I think failure drives me. I was like, you know, only brother not to win a state title. And now, you know, like I got nephew, nephew who won the state title. So I think failure in it definitely helps drive and motivate. And I don't think we get, our sport doesn't get covered well enough at all. I think you do a really poor job. I think the mainstream media doesn't care about it. Yeah. Because it's weird. And you, you and I were saying it last night. Our sport from the outside is very easy to look at and be like, what are you doing? So I think it, it deserves better. So that, I, that would I, be, like, I think that that, I, and that's not like, and that's just my answer. I don't, I don't know where, like Martin Floriani, I know he, he's really passionate, man. He's to the passionate point of craziness, <laughs> but he does a great job. So, I mean, yeah, I think that that, the passion for it is really, really like there and I like like going to see and stuff at the Russian Nationals going and seeing the Olympics and seeing how like a, a two hour tournament how about the Olympics is a two hour tournament people don't know that yeah it's a two hour tournament you know some guys can wrestle there from their first round first quarter final match to the, the semifinals in an hour and 15 minutes and people don't know that and that those are really neat things that about wrestling and the grind and you know it's like this funnel of people's lives come at this one you know the, the point that funnels into the tank yeah that that point is the olympic games and it's an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and a half or two hours so that's crazy i don't think a lot of people know that jd i don't i know you know that but i don't think the layman of wrestling knows that i was telling some guys yesterday at coach jordan's well i think so, the layman of wrestling doesn't even know who terrell delagdev is which is atrocious you told me that there are people who don't know who Jake Farner is. Yeah, people in wrestling should all know who Olympic gold medalists in our sport from our country. And people don't know that the communication level in wrestling is very, very minimal. And uh, it's sad that the the wrestlers at whatever age group you're in, you kind of know the best wrestlers in your age group. Outside of that, there's the communication level is very low. But no, but speaking on that, I just want to ask you one last question on how you came to be. Um, 
what what you're doing with Flow, what you're doing with the Ohio Cast. I mean, you just started this randomly at one tournament, just grabbed the ca camera, helped him out one time. But tell people how you got to be Zeb Miller on Flow and Go Ohio Cast and Go Ohio Cast. Um, he, Mark Floriani, was at the University of Nationals, and um, he was. Okay, so I saw this guy, I thought he was crazy. He was talking into the camera, kind of like when people see me talking to the camera. Okay. They're like, this guy's nuts. But then when they figure out what you're doing it for and you're documenting it for the world, somebody said, hey, who are you doing that for? To me one time. And I said, the world. <laughs> I was just being facetious, but uh, I saw him filming some matches. And then later on, I saw him out in the lobby at University of Nationals. The first year it was in Akron. And he dropped his phone and his battery popped out of it. And he was like, he had all these bags slung everywhere, and he was like talking a million miles a minute, and he was trying to stop people. Hey, can you help me? Can you help me? And people were ignoring him. And I walked up to him, and I was like, uh, hey, man, what's going on? And he's like, hey, I just need a ride. And he was traveling with like either Oklahoma State or Missouri at that point, because he, he hitched a lot of rides at that point, because it, it was a startup company. And he, I got him in the car and started talking to him, and he was like, yeah, we're going to have the greatest thing on earth. Flow wrestling is going to be this, that, and the other. And I'm like, yeah, this guy's nuts. He's, it's a pipe dream. You know, hey, lay off the whatever you're doing, bud. Yeah. It's not good for you. And lo and behold, the guy was very driven, very into it. Then later on, so that was 2007. Then for 2008, he comes back for the Ohio State Tournament because it's one of the bigger, you know, top three state tournaments in the country. Comes in and he was like, hey, can you get a camera? And we had a wrestling club that I was, you know, where I was helping out coaching. They were like, yeah, you can use our camera as long as you film our guys' matches. Filmed all the Division II state finals, and that's kind of how it, it began, and then it grew from there, and, and you know, like, I know a lot about wrestling, so I share with other people. So that, that's kind of how it started, J.D., and it, it was pretty cool for Martin Floriani to kind of let me in. That's pretty cool, Zeb. Well, uh, I guess... Thank we're going to get your gear, and you and Turvala are going to go back and throw each other around. I can't wait. Yeah, we're going to roll around. Uh, Zed, thank you for your time, man.